to a decisive conclusion. With the Soviets surrendering and with the city of Sevastopol left lying in ruins. So while Gustav's effectiveness as the ultimate siege-breaking artillery piece was undeniable, it actually barely took any further part in the war owing to the extraordinary inherent challenges in transporting it, as well as due to the limited opportunities available to a Nazi regime that would soon come under siege itself. Uncertainty and conjecture surround Gustav's fate, but it seems this phenomenal weapon, the likes of which the world had never before seen, was probably destroyed by the retreating German army so as 